Hi everyone, in this video, I want to show you how to excel in your Excel interview. Hi everyone, my name is Nikki Sujadi. I'm currently a specialist in Grab Singapore and I make finance and career related contents like this on the side. Now I've been getting a lot of questions on what the Excel interview is like with Grab or other tech startups. So I decided to make a video like this and talk to you about how the whole Excel interview is like. Uh, in specific, I want to talk about the structure of this Excel interview, what kind of questions they will ask, how to answer them, and bonus tips on what to do when answering these questions. So, let's get into it. So firstly, I want to talk about the structure of the Excel interview. Well, you receive an Excel file uh, with a set of data and questions right before the interview starts. During the interview, you'll have to answer these questions ideally with formulas and tools in Excel. And I'll talk to you about the ideal formulas to use in certain set of questions later on, but definitely not to be done manually. After that, you'll share your screen with the interviewer so the interviewer can see what you're doing. A uh, good thing is that you are allowed to use Google to look for formulas. So you don't have to memorize these formulas. You just have to make sure you know how to use them. Now, secondly, what kind of questions and how to answer them? So this is really the meat of this video. First of all, there are a few different kind of questions they'll ask. First kind of questions is they'll be asking you to find certain numbers from a data set that's given, right? Remember how I told you they'll give you a data set? Now they'll ask you to use this data set to find a sum of something or count uh, the number of drivers in Singapore, something like that, right? Now, the worst way to do this is to count manually. Imagine you have a data set and you have to count manually how many drivers there is. That's the worst way that you can do it. Now, a good answer is to use formulas like sum or count. Now, if you're not familiar with these formulas, please do Google them. Uh, they are very useful formulas and should be a very fundamental formulas to know. Ideal way, uh, and I would say that I think it's something that interviewers look for as well, is to use pivot table. Now, if you do not know pivot table, I highly recommend you research about the use of pivot tables because it will be a value added in your Excel interview and not just for your interviews, even in your job as well. Uh, interviewers want to know if you can use pivot table because you are most likely going to use it from a day-to-day -day basis if you do some sort of analysis. Now, if you know pivot table, finding out how many or how much of a certain thing shouldn't be a big problem. But beware, if the question is asking for sum or count or something. Because I think by default, it is a count. But if they're looking for some, make sure you check that. Now, the second type of questions they will ask is asking you to fill up some blank fields. They might give you a table that has a few blank fields and for you to actually fill them up. Now, this is done when you need to populate these fields with certain logic. Like if this value is this, then it should be this. Now, the worst way to do it is to do it manually. Again, don't do it manually. By doing it manually means you eyeball the numbers and fill up the numbers manually by typing it. The ideal and I think the best way is to use formulas like VLOOKUP or index match. I personally am more comfortable with VLOOKUP uh, and I think that is sufficient. But if you want to be extra prepared, then know how to use index max as well. So just like pivot table, VLOOKUP will be one of the most important function you should know in Excel. And I highly recommend recapping it again, even if you know just a brief idea of what it is. One thing that I, I personally always forget is the VLOOKUP option at the end, where you have to choose true or false. And I think during my Excel interview, I did some kind of error where I put false instead of true and I don't know, I've, I forgot about that. But yeah, just so just make sure you recap, right? And uh, from what I know, true is a close match where else false is an exact match. Essentially, what VLOOKUP does is that you are looking for a particular value in the first column of the table and returning the value from the other column. But if you do not, if this doesn't sound familiar, please make sure you read it up. I'm pretty sure there are a lot of resources out there for you to look up of VLOOKUP. Now, those are the standard type of questions. Those two questions are the very standard type. 
and we'll be asked in usually like the first few questions, maybe first three, first two questions. Um, but the rest of the other questions that they will ask will require a bit more thinking. I think a bit of maths formula involved, a bit of forming two different formulas and sometimes require Googling. So imagine you got the questions, you are fully prepared, you know the pivot tables and VLOOKUP, you are all set to go. You know what to do and well, maybe you can even get to the answers easily. So what should you do when answering the Excel interview? Here are a few things you can do to make your answers even better. First is to think out loud. This means you voice out your thinking process, what you are planning to do, what you're currently doing with the formulas, why you even do it this way. This so that the interviewers can follow what you are doing and understand your thinking process as well. Sure, the interviewers can observe while you do the questions and understand what you are doing. After all, it's the interviewer that is giving the questions, right? But this will help to give you the edge over other interviewees because you are able to articulate your thought process when solving the problem. And I highly recommend doing this. The good thing of thinking out loud is that if you are stuck or you might not get the answer correctly, at least the interviewer can help guide you since he or she would know the angle you're coming from. So yes, make sure you think out loud and practice doing that when you're doing your Excel test practice. Secondly, sanity check. This is actually very important. Essentially, you want to make sure you check your answer if it makes sense. That's the idea of sanity check. You may have used the right formulas and there's no error in it. It looks good, it looks, it looks like it, it is the right answer. But it's a good habit to check if the value that you arrive at makes sense from the data set that's given. If they ask for the total revenue from a driver and somehow you arrive at a million dollars per month, then that should raise some questions. Does it make sense for a driver to get one million dollars per month? I know that's an extreme example, but that's the idea of that sanity check. And voice it out loud. Say something like, okay, I just wanna do a sanity check on this answer. Does it make sense that such and such can be this value? Then you look back at the data set and do just simple calculations and check to see if it makes sense. That's just as simple as it is. Now this will show the interviewer that you have a good habit of doing sanity checks, which is very important because it means that you are very logical and you will double check your work that's given. Now, I did these two things and to be honest, during my Excel test, I, it wasn't the smoothest. I had a few bumps here and there. Like I told you before, my VLOOKUP, I, I actually even forgot whether it was true or false. But because I did my sanity check and I realized that it, was, it looked slightly off, then I double check and changed my formulas and then it looks like it makes more sense. Now, if you made it this far into the video, I want to share a bonus tips with you. And that is, it's okay not to know all the formulas and Google it. In fact, I encourage you to Google it in front of the interviewers. This is because you are able to show that you can find certain things you don't know and independently figure out the answers on your own. Let's be real, we most likely wouldn't know all of the things that we are supposed to do in our job. We have to do our own findings and research and sometimes just even trial and error. And this will help to showcase that. So make sure that don't be afraid to Google the answers and even just think out loud what, what you're trying to find when you're Googling it and how you actually um, understand the formulas that's given to you. And so instead of memorizing the formulas in Excel, learn how to read formulas and use them. Now, I really wish you all the best if you have an Excel interview lined up for you. If you have any further questions, do leave a comment and ask me. Or if you want to ask me privately uh, so that I can reply to you faster, you can do so via my LinkedIn, which you can find in the description below. Thank you for watching and take care. Peace.